today we're going to go over some scar release. So scars tend to hold a lot of emotion and we want to give them the opportunity to um, to release the energy that they're holding. So I have a couple different tools um, that you can maybe find at home. Um, this would be like a, an end of a crochet needle. This is actually a facial detector, but um, I'm just trying to find tools that you have around. If you don't have a spatula, a rubber spatula or um, a crochet needle, you can go grab a coin. Um, anything that you have that like your brain loves novelty. So any type of texture um, that you can, that has an edge, you can certainly use to scrape the um, scar. So as a reminder, tattoos are scars. So um, just something to keep in mind that if you have a tattoo somewhere in your body um, and let's say you're getting a tattoo and it was an extremely painful one, um, your body will remember that. So sometimes, you know, like you, you may not realize that, you know, if you have pain in your foot or whatnot, um, there's some emotions that are being held here. So we want to give that your body the opportunity to release that energy and release um, the emotion that may be trapped in, in the tissue. Okay. So um, I'm just going to show you real quick how to, how it works. But so if I draw a line, so imagine right here, this is my scar. So you see right here, this is my scar. So what we're going to do is that we start with the spatula and what we do is we just start scraping one way. So you go to the center of the scar and just scrape away. So we do that, I don't know, four or five, six, a hundred times, whatever feels good. Okay, so my big thing is with this stuff is just what feels good. So a lot of times when you're doing this, you know, you can be really mindful of it if you want and just see what emotions do come up. Um, but a lot of times I tend to do this when I'm uh, watching TV. So it's just something that's become a habit for me just to give it a little love, give it a little um, attention and whatnot. But here, you're just trying to scrape, so now I'm going the opposite way, okay? So I'm going to one side or the other, and then we're gonna go up. So we're gonna just move the tissues in all different directions, okay? So we're gonna just scrape it up, and then we scrape it down. So it doesn't have to be hard. This is my really, really, really important to understand. It doesn't have to be hard. You don't have to be digging in like you're trying to actually dig out scar tissue. That's not what it's about. We're just trying to smooth out any of the the tissue so you can see like as I do it like the the pen is actually like starting to disappear as I as I'm rubbing and whatnot what you may notice as well is some redness and that is the sha so gua sha if you've ever heard of that that is the sha that is the energy that is trapped in your tissues being released so when we do repetitive soft movements that's what it looks like that's what it is so what may happen is that you may get some redness that's totally okay that's good there is some lymph flow there is some movement here that we are trying to create but that's basically it guys so it just we go all different directions and then you can go if you want to do like some circular patterns i went up and down you can do some circular patterns over it just basically it's really really simple just trying to scrape it so if i have my crochet needle all i'm going to do is i'm going to again start in the center and i'm just going to pull it out and go out like this and i can go up like this and then up the tissues down the tissues and then I can do some circles over it brain loves circles just a brain a, as a little quick note brain patterning circles are a really fantastic way to to get the right and left hemisphere working so yeah so again don't push hard just go all directions on the scar tissue and give it a little bit of love and see what comes up for you just note that some emotions may bubble up to the surface and that's okay because that's just your body allowing, giving yourself the space and the safety that it needs to help to help release the emotions that's been trapped in your body. If you have any questions about that, please let me know. Hopefully this was helpful. Have a fantastic day.